Hi guys, this instruction installation video to install door handle model on your Ford Transit, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Dodge Promaster. If you're ever installed or planning to install automatic door system by a door, could it be a Croco gear train system or the new Cayman uh, gear train automatic door system or even cable uh, automatic door opening system you know that the kit comes with everything and it includes plastic covers variety of the plastic covers as you see on my background that will cover interior and exterior door handles the thing is that the device was uh, designed for touchless entry uh, for the passenger so they don't touch the buttons and don't spread the disease due to the multiple uh, requests from the customers and installers and users uh, manufacturer designed a device that will uh, activate your door handles inside and outside door handles to work it uh, in addition to the uh, buttons uh, on your vehicle for passengers for the driver uh, to remote control so it's in addition it has to be uh, purchased separately and you can install at the same time or after you install automatic door opener this is how uh, will work if you install this device by pulling the outside or uh, inside door handles it will trigger and open and close your uh, doors uh, device looks like that there's a few different uh, mechanisms that you have to install and connect it electrically to the controller and to the system itself uh, it comes with the instruction with the pictures with the uh, diagrams and the in English so it shouldn't be too complicated to install so let's uh, let's go for it so this one is the specific instruction for Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van um, Basically, we'll go step by step through the process. Hopefully, it will make it easier uh, for you to install this device. So let's start with the removing plastic covers from the car. And the first, uh, remove the uh, plastic cover in the interior door handle. We'll go step by step. After removing the interior door handle, There is a mechanism, uh, look carefully how it's connected, so you can put it back later on, disconnect the cables, the trigger opening and closing system. Next, lose the screw that keeps the exterior door handle mechanism in place. When you unscrew that screw, remove the plastic cover, after you remove plastic cover, you will be able to remove the handle itself. Also, there is a screw, you have to unscrew it to uh, remove this door handle mechanism. Again, make a photo or remember how the cables connected. Disconnect door cables from the exterior door handle mechanism. Then follow the instructions where to drill the holes to install this uh, part of the mechanism. I believe there is a three holes and the screws that you have to uh, fix the mechanism that designed for your sprinter. When you put the in place mechanism, put one screw and install a retuning spring that will work just like that. When you're done with that, uh, take the interior door mechanism, install already connected to electrically interior door handle mechanism put it in place fix it permanently when it's all set also make sure that it works how it's supposed to be you're ready to put big interior door mechanism already connected to the hardware that came with then put big cables as they were before you remove the mechanism when you put the cables back one for opening one for closing I guess put back mechanism and 
put the screws back, make sure it works, nothing touches, no, nothing distracts the operation, it will look exactly as it was, then go to the exterior door mechanism, also hardware is connected electrically, put back the cables to the same place they were, mechanism works, put it back, there is a outside screw that keep the mechanism in place, put the rubber piece, put the handle back, put the plastic cover, and there is on the side of the door there is a screw that uh, fix the mechanism permanently. When you're all done, close that hole that gave you access and connect the mechanism with the hardware, with the controller. Then there's a two wires that goes from the controllers on the side of the door that wires that lock and unlock your system. You have to find those two wires here, uh, wires here they're uh, blue color, there's a hardware included to get access to these two wires. When it's connected, you'll be able to plug in your additional hardware. You don't have to cut anything off, just get connected. Then connect the hardware. those two wires that will unlock and lock your system. Then there is a remote controller that came with the kit. Connect it. So it's here connected. So every time when you pull the interior door handle or outside door handle you'll see that it's activated it will open and close your doors and this is your additional remote control that will stay inside you will have another remote controller or two or three as many as you want that actually uh, you can uh, use to open and close the doors when your door is locked these triggers on the doors will not work your door will not open it's disconnected when your doors are locked. There's a double side tape on that remote. Fix it inside the door permanently. Also connect the receiver that comes with the hardware. Double tape also connected to the controller. Controller is a part of the automatic door opener that control your door, let you control and program distance and the speed, depends what kind of uh, opener you have. Fix it permanently, it's all in place. Before you put the cover, make sure that it works. Then when you finish the putting door cover, this is how it will look. Your doors will open and close from the door handles as well as from buttons, as well as from remote controllers. When you lock your doors from original uh, Mercedes key, your doors will not be activated. It will not open, it will not close. You have to unlock the doors and then your door handles inside and outside will work as the triggers to open and close the doors. You're locking the vehicle and nobody will be able to open the doors when your vehicle is locked. You unlock the vehicle and your door handles will work. So hopefully it's useful video for you to install door handles. If you'd like to be posted uh, about updates from a door, uh, because company is all the time working to improve the devices, to make some additions and improve uh, the uh, whole process for the automatic door openers you can uh, subscribe to this channel 
or check out the website adorusa.com you can send us uh, questions from the websites by email or you see the phone number you can always call and ask us the question and we'll be happy to uh, provide you some uh, answers or technical support so guys thank you very much for being uh, on the channel and uh, we hope this video will be helpful to install uh, door handle model on your mercedes-benz sprinter ford transit or uh, dodge pro master